Well, I've done a few videos lately, but not particularly any projects. Um, and so winter's coming along, so I thought I'd start a new project. And that's going to be John Wilding's uh, weight-driven tower clock. So I've got a little idea uh, where that can go, but before I start worrying about whereabouts it's going to go, uh, I think this is what we're going to um, got to start building it. So there's a couple of options in the plans. Um, John Wilding mentions uh, about using uh, potential of a light aluminium, uh, or aluminium I should say, or steel. Um, he also of course mentions about brass, uh, but talks about the expense of brass. And I was totally into that as well. Uh, however, after pricing everything up, um, I'm realizing that actual fact by the time I bought some aluminium, um, it wasn't too much more, it was only about £10 more, £12 more, maybe a little bit more um, for brass. Um, especially if rather than going for sheet uh, brass for the frame, I went with, so it's six millimetres it requires, or quarter inch actually it says. Uh, so I've gone for six mil of a bar. So uh, rather than cutting it from a large sheet, um, it was miles cheap to get it from bar. Uh, so that's two inch um, and I think I require one and three quarter inches. This by the way, I'm not going to go through all the dimensions, obviously you need to get the book. Um, but if you want to follow along and build one similar to this. Um, but I certainly will be mentioning some of the overall dimensions. Uh, and like I say, so two inches um, is this bar that I've got. But it specifies one and three quarters in the book. So I'm going to have to take a quarter inch off that uh, down the down each strip uh, the 14 and a half inch long um, <coughs> and then quite chunky as well for the brass corners these are one inch um, for the corners so that's the overall shape uh, you can see there just from that little picture um, that's the majority of the uh, the certainly expensive brass anyway gonna have a few uh, cross braces which is just out of round stock and then the big more the the definite the last final exp extent uh, expense sorry, is going to be this uh, large bracket here for the escapement. So pretty much though, got a good start to it. So the first job is going to be the frames. Okay, so we're going to start by we're going to start by squaring the ends of um, this bar. Basically, I've chucked it up in this forger. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get some critics. I probably should have spent more time centering it, but I just want to face off the end. Okay, so that was fairly straightforward. Just uh, faced up the end, all nice. Remove it now, and then we'll line them all up and get the height. So I turned them down initially on the lathe. Um, I wasn't quite happy with the consistency I was getting um, in terms of the, the finish, the final height. So I've mounted them all on the mill um, and then finished them all to the same height. So I know that they're all perfectly now uh, equal height. Okay, so I'm moving on to the pillars. Um, I've got my square bar, chucked it up in the lathe, that's that out. I've also turned my top slide to 1.5 degrees to give me a three three degree uh, inclusive angle going in. So we're going to start turning this down, taking off material at a time until it starts turning round. Okay, so I've got these to round. Uh, finish is pretty chronic, certainly down this back end when the cutter was rubbing a bit, but this is only to get them to rough shape. Uh, so. I've started leaving that little step just for the fancy and also I'm going to start leaving the step now at the bottom and turn this down to actual diameter so we're also going to have like a little ridge down at the bottom. Okay so that's the pillars finished, uh, it was quite a tricky little job and it took me a little bit longer than I expected actually. Uh, I have chosen to do something slightly different uh, than Wilding. Wilding radiused uh, these little fancy um, profiles on the pillars. I've chosen just to leave them as edges, and I have done that by choice. Uh, just personally, I think it looks a little bit more modern, but maybe I'm wrong there. Either way, that's what I'm choosing to do. It's my clock. Um, other than that, they're all to size now, like uh, specified in Wilding's book. Uh, next thing now is to put the holes in for the spacers, uh, so that they can be, there's some little spacing bars now that go in there. So that'll be my next video. 
and also what looks very tricky is that um, Wilden chooses to use dowel pins to hold the frames as well to the pillars so that's all going to be in my next video anyway that's for uh, all for now thank you very much for watching hopefully a bit more progress in my next video cheers <laughs>